Avacoda. In this video, we're going to be working with universally unique identifiers, the ways to generate them in Postgres and what exactly do they give us. So please give this video and press thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe. Let's start. Alright, so in order to work with universally unique identifiers, we would need to install a specific extension because unfortunately it doesn't come out of the box. So in order to get a list of all the available extensions, we need to type select all from PG available extensions. And as you'll see, there's quite a few of them. We have a version in a second column and the last column actually tells us what do they do. And somewhere close to the end, we can see UUID extension that generates universally unique identifiers. So now what we actually need to do is we need to import it. So in order to do that, we can type create extension if not exists. So if it wasn't installed already, we would create an extension called, and we actually copy the name of the UID extension, which is dash OCCP as well. And the extension was created or imported. So now we can start to use it and I'll show you how to use it in a moment. But first I want to double check that the extension was installed. So I'm just duplicating that command and scrolling down, you can see the third column tells us the version of the extension installed. All right, so now we can start to use it. Let's check what it can do for us. We type backslash df and we can see all the functions available in this extension. And for this lesson, I want to use UID version 4. It's a randomly generated UID with an absolutely micro possibility of encountering another equal UID somewhere in this world. So in order to do that, we can type select UID generate v4 this is a name of the function and because the function we need brackets and here is it has generated a uuid for us all right so now that we know how it works let's do something with this knowledge so first of all i will create a table called passport so i'm typing create table uh, specifying the table name passport and then inside the brackets, I'm specifying the columns. So the first column is going to be passport serial, which is passport serial number. And it's going to be of type UID. And the constraint is going to be not null. And it's going to be our primary key. Then the next column is issue date of type date. And I'll remind you that by default, it's going to be an American style of date and it's going to be not null. Then we have expire date of the type date and not null as well. And the last column is going to be the country of issue. Which is going to be of type varchar with a maximum number of characters 150 and it's going to be not null as well. All right, so table is created. Let's have a peek how it looks. 
Right, so passport serial of type UID is the primary key. And we can insert the first value into our passport table. Inside the brackets are going to specify the column names, which is passport serial, issue date, expire date, country of issue, I'm closing the brackets and on a new line I'm inserting the actual values in the same order as I specified the names of the columns. So it's going to be UID generate version 4 then the brackets because it is a function that will generate UID on the fly. The next two values are going to be for the date and I'm going to show you what can happen if you'll specify the wrong date format. So the issue date and expire date and then the country of issue is going to be United Kingdom and I must not forget to put them inside the single quotes. the dates as well. So once again the dates are in the wrong format. And we can see an error date time field value out of range because it treats the second number 19 not as the date but as the month. We can also change the default values of the date clear the screen you can also change the default values of default format of the dates with a separate function now all works well so we followed the format of the date it expects and if we'll select all records from the table passport, we can see the first record with a randomly generated UID. So please give this video an Emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe. And that's it for this wonderful course. That was V, thank you and goodbye.